don't miss any content, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Hey guys, welcome back to Sahara Football as usual. I'm your host, Selassie Fiawe. Today I have some interesting news as usual for you. But if you're new to the channel, I advise you to subscribe to the channel and to click on the notification bell to get more updates. Now we all know Ghana Black Stars General Captain Asamajan has revealed who is greatest footballer of all time, Ghanaian footballer of all time is. And also Ashanti Gold coach is confident of victory in the return leg at the Lenkley Sports Stadium. Remember, they are taking part in the Confederations Cup and they drew the first leg in Equatorial Guinea 1-1. Now they'll be hoping to get victory in this game to ensure qualification to the next round. Okanangwe FC have apologized to Ash Gold for the poor reception. Also, I'll be giving you more details on that when they travel to Equatorial Guinea. They were not treated in the best of manners. And finally, Kumasi Asante Kotoko players vote for the FIFA Pro 11. Yes, we all know the FIFA Awards is about to take place in September, September 23rd to be exact. And Kumasi Asante Kotoko captain and coach are mandatory national team captains and coaches are supposed to take part in the voting process yeah, i'll just jump right into it and we all know ghana black stars general captain who is also a legend himself as someone john yes he has made known his greatest Ghanaian footballer of all time and he says it is a Betty pele yes someone john was full of high praise for Betty pele and says that he's someone he looked up to when he was growing up in football now the ghana general captain as john has acknowledged Ghanaian legend Abedi Pele as the greatest footballer to have come from this country. Now, Jan was a young footballer when Abedi Pele was at his peak and he is convinced that Ghana has never had nor seen a better footballer than the man known as the maestro. Now, widely regarded as one of the most technically gifted players in Ghana's footballing history. Now, the former Marseille attacker became a household name for his incredible dribbling and passing skills and Ghana's all-time top scorer still have memories of the magical moment the legend had on the field. This is what Jan said. When I was growing up, Abedi Pele was someone we all looked up to. He was playing the best of footballs in the country and there is no doubt he is incomparable. He, are, he averred when he spoke to Kwekumeni on aggressive interview. Now he is the Ghana's greatest Ghanaian footballer of all time with his style of play. His unique style of play drew comparisons with Brazilian legend Pele. Abedi made his name in France guiding Olympic Marseille to a UEFA Champions League victory in 1993 and went on to win that year's African Footballer of the Year award. Now the 54 year old was three times African Footballer of the Year and also won the Nations Cup for the Black Stars in 1982 which coincidentally was the last time we ever lifted the Nations Cup. It's 40 years, close to 40 years now. He featured 73 times for the national team scoring 33 times and Asamwajan has since then usurped that he has 51 goals for the national team. Ghana's all-time highest goal scorer full of high praise to arguably the best African player in his time by George Weah. What do you think about what Samuel Jan said of Abedi Pele? Do you agree with him? What are your fondest memories of Abedi Pele, the maestro he was known as? I wasn't born during that time, but I heard a lot and seen a lot of clips of Abedi Pele to, to, to say Samuel Jan is right. He was one of the greatest of his time. So that's it on the front of Samuel Jan, full of high praise for legend Abedi Pele. Now to my next story and it has to do with Ash Gold. Yes, Ash Gold are preparing in NS for their clash against Okanangui FC of Equatorial Guinea. Yeah, in the first leg they drew 1-1 one, one, and the coach of Ash Gold is really confident that they can make it to the next preliminary rounds of games and they have to play two qualifier games before they make it to the group stages. Now Ashanti Gold coach Ricardo Da Rocha believes his side have arrived ahead of the second leg game against Akanangui FC in the CAF Confederations Cup. Now, the Wasi based club strode to a convincing 2 0 victory over Desire Academy in a preparatory match over the weekend. Now, the Rocha revealed after the game that his side looked stronger and much better in the friendly. This is what he said I've seen an improvement in my team after today's game. We are more focused on the game about 
against a Konawi FC. All we want is a win for our supporters and Ghanaians. The first leg was played out in Equatorial Guinea a fortnight ago that ended in a 1-1 draw. The miners just need to avoid defeat or maintain a goalless scoreline on Saturday in order to boot out their opponent. So that's the latest on the CAF Confederations Cup there on the front of Ashant uh, Ashanti Gold. They are preparing to face Akonangwe FC at home. The same with Kumasi Asante Kotoko. They are preparing to face Kano Peles of Nigeria at the Papaya Sports Stadium. We'll be there bringing you live coverage, live updates, press conferences, fans reactions, interview with the players and the atmosphere at both stadia i hope you stick to this channel subscribe if you haven't we'll be bringing you more updates now gonna we fc apparently did not give the best of reception to ash gold as they were expecting now they have apologized and asked for forgiveness from ashanti gold following that poor reception that was given them now the equatorian guinea side okanawi fc are seeking forgiveness from the ghanaian club ashanti gold for unfortunate treatment during the ACAF Confederation's pre Cup preliminary round first leg clash in the country ahead of this weekend's return leg. Now, Ash Gold accused the Equatorial Guinea side, Equipo Rojo de Kier in TM, of unfair treatment in their travel to Guinea and has sworn to take revenge when they host the decider on Sunday. On the pitch, the two teams settled for a 1-1 draw. We will write an apology to Asante Gold for the unfortunate treatment they went through when they visited us in Equatorial Guinea before we arrived in Ghana. Okanangui Technical Director Pedro said, We are sorry for the bad reception they received from us. Football is not a war. The director also spoke on his ambition for Saturday's showdown. We are coming to Ghana to win, he said. We've arrived well for the game against Ashanti Gold. Our traveling arrangements are in the hands of the Equatorial Guinea Embassy in Ghana. Possibly we will be in Ghana on Wednesday. A win is our motive. The winners of the fixture over both legs will face RS Burkane of Morocco in the next round. So that is what Ashanti Gold have to look forward to. RS Burkane is waiting on the wings. A goalless draw will take them through to the next stage to meet Aris Burkane. And hopefully Ashanti Gold can make it to that round. I'll be there as well at the Wassil and Clay Sports Stadium. Hopefully Ashanti Gold get the job. Done. I move on to my final story. And look in pictures here, you can see our Santa Cotopos players are voting for the FIFA Fifth Pro 11. Now, players of Kotoko took their turns to vote for the FIFA Fifth Pro 11 on Monday. The voting train, which began in the capital, saw players of Hard to Folk, the Black Meteors, and other footballers from the lower division vote for their best 11. The vote, led by members of the Food Professional Footballers Association of Ghana, went to the Ashanti region and players of Kotoko nicely took part in the process. The FIFA Fifth Pro Men's 11 Awards are organized by FIFA and Fifth Pro. The awards are given to the best players in each position based on their performances within the period of July 16, 2018 to July 19, 2019 inclusive. Now players who must have appeared at least 15 official matches for at national or international level during the period and in order to be eligible the winners of the awards are voted by professional men's players from around the world all votes count equally each voting nominates one goalkeeper four defenders three midfielders and three forwards you can see some of the kotoko players here taking part in the voting maxwell barco who is yet to be back from injury felix Anand, and co also taking part in the voting so on that note i end it here kumasi asante kotoko and ashanti gold will be in action over the weekend they'll be playing in the calf champions league and calf confederations cup saturday 3 p.m is the kickoff for ashanti gold at the wasi lengthly sports stadium asante kotoko will be playing on sunday 3 p.m as well stick to the channel we'll bring you more updates as and when we get them on those fronts i'll see you guys in the next one enjoy your day